Hello, how is everybody? Um, just wanted to let you know this is going to be mostly voiceover because I have a hard time. There's going to be a little bit of a story, so I have a hard time talking and painting at the same time. Um, okay, so the story has a little bit of a trigger warning. It's um, connected to sort of the animal wildlife food chain okay and and what i'm drawing right here so originally if you can see on the right the shape of a little chipmunk i was going to do chipmunk because i have a couple of chipmunks who live behind my steps and i see them out front all the time so the other day i was sitting here looking out and i saw one of the chipmunks running like hell towards towards the road and uh, there's a large tree there and I saw him racing up the tree and I thought, that's odd. I don't normally see uh, chipmunks going up trees. I know it's kind of weird. They can climb trees. I usually see the squirrels. Um, so I looked it up and it said, yeah, they usually stay on the ground, but if they're trying to flee uh, from a predator, they will go up a tree. So, oh, that's interesting. And then, I don't know minutes later I looked out and there was a little weasel running down my walkway with a dead chipmunk in his mouth so he got the other chipmunk um, and it was just so creepy to me because he was almost the exact same size as a chipmunk he was just tiny so I really wasn't even sure what it was at first it was um, if it was a mink I thought it was a mink but the color was light like like what I'm using here and, um, oh wow, it was just, it was scary because they're violent little guys. <laughs> and I've only ever seen one other one. And it was many years ago, maybe like six, seven years ago. And I was driving to work and it was early morning, so it was darkish. And I saw him darting across the road with something in his mouth. And what I originally thought it was was a mother moving babies someplace, like moving to another spot. But now that I saw what transpired in my front yard, uh, it was probably something else he killed. So anyway, it's the way nature is, but it was a little sad. I felt bad for the chipmunk and his little buddy. So anyway, let's talk about the painting now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so I did. I uh, decided to do watercolor. I I sketched it out in um, watercolor pencil, and then I went over it with um, the Derwent line markers, and then I did uh, some watercolor on top. And now I'm just going over it again. Once the watercolor dried, I went over it again, and um, did some more line work. And that's about where we are right now. So let me stop talking for a second. <laughs> So uh, doing the um, ground, or it was supposed to be on a log actually in the photo I was working from, but yeah, it doesn't have to be. Um, and you'll see when I do the background, I do them both very sort of impressionistically. I mean, just there's no definition or anything, I suppose, so that the weasel will stand out because I did a lot of details on him and I just kind of wanted that to be the focus of the picture but um but I also didn't want to leave it on a blank page so and color will bring bring some interest to it um what am I working with now oh I used a little bit of um what's that stuff the Dr. P.H. Martin bleed proof white um I use that a lot with watercolor it's really good for um using a white with uh, with watercolor or ink. 
had a little trouble with that. It was old and I had to scrape out the inside. It was all dried up, but I added some water and it was right back to new. Um, so I should be starting the background soon, I think, maybe. Okay, now we're starting the background. Um, I just thought I would do green, like leafy background for, um, to sort of, sort of show him like hiding out, waiting to attack four little chipmunks. Um, he had a sort of a reddish shade to his brown, so I think the green kind of worked well with that. I did one layer of this and thought, oh yeah, I'm done. But when it was dried, it looked um, like it was all one value. It was all like the same medium kind of value. So I went back in and um, did a second coat and added some more dark green and I added some brown too, just to give it some value differences. And that's what I'm doing here. So I guess uh, that's it for me talking, although I say, a little bit at the end <laughs> not voiceover so um, thanks for watching anyway and if you want to continue to the end please do and we'll see you next time my little weasel. I don't know how. Okay, like that. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm kind of liking this series so far. I think next time I'll do my little chipmunk. Bye-bye. Right.